track walk here in St. Petersburg. It's always a fun track. Looks like some areas have been resurfaced. I was out doing some pace lap uh, laps in the pace car earlier this morning, so uh, I've already done a few laps, which is nice. But uh, the track seems in good shape, so we're ready for tomorrow. Yeah, but here, you know, Long Beach, place like that, it makes sense, the long straight. But it was just enough here that I just couldn't, I couldn't do anything with it. It helps that, but it also really helps your exit out. Of like staying in that later yellow line. Yeah, the left of that, pretty much. You're still going over, but don't go to the qualifying gear if I use to the wall. My name is Christian. I kind of got lost there. I'm Christian Lundgaard, driver of the 45 Hy-Vee Honda for Ray Hall Letterman Landing and Racing. Join us from, it was so good until then. Join us for some behind the scenes for this season's flat out. Something like that, right? Yeah. Hey, that'll be good. That's what I wanted to do, but I messed up. I'm keeping all of that. I know. Mr. Champagne or Champagnon, whatever. I'm Christian Lundgaard and <laughs> You're good. This is Christian. Why do I keep stucking at that? Hi guys, welcome to this 2024 season. Make sure you follow us for some behind the scenes stuff and flat out. a lot 
uh, just on the pl on the primaries, we we didn't quite seem to be able to get them up to temperature. And once we got the the greens on in Q1, um, it was kind of ship it or bin it. Uh, to be honest, that that was the mentality. We we knew that we had to push really hard to to make sure that we gave ourselves uh, the best shot, and we managed to get through uh, just by a little little tiny hair. So obviously positive that we that we made it through. Um, but at the end of qualifying, struggle with with rear locking, and, and that's basically what what cost us a a shot at uh, at getting through to the fast six. Even though that I don't think we had the pace to, uh, but obviously we we didn't manage or, or get to show what we potentially had. So it's a bittersweet feeling. Um, but at the moment, just looking forward for tomorrow. It's, it's the first race day of the year. Everybody has got some rust that they need to kick off. So it's going to be a tough, long race. Excited, physical physical aspect of it is going to be tough. Uh, it's going to be one hell of a challenge. Uh, race day here, St. Pete, first race of the year. Obviously been a little bit of a challenging weekend with us. Uh, some gremlins in the car that uh, trying to resolve and uh, you know with the downshifts and hopefully today will be a better day in that regard. But we've tried some things overnight. You know, Christian went one way, we went a different way. Let's see if we can meet in the middle after warm up and figure out what's best. guys so the weekend went perfectly exactly how we wanted it to go obviously in practice and qualifying we were being super safe just taking it step by step and we knew that we you know we're gonna grow in the race as the race went on the more laps we did as a group everybody is new to each other there's a lot of new guys in the 30 car and uh, we only had like two days of uh, testing to prepare so by the race we were able to gel better together and uh, we executed perfectly the pit stops the strategy um, it was amazing, so I'm so happy, so happy with the work that uh, the whole team did. I lost my cooling tube in the beginning of the race, and uh, I was like, I'm not sure I was gonna finish because I was overheating. And uh, but we did, so I'm, I'm super happy about that, and it's a good start. Let's keep working. <laughs> 